This hypnosis routine is brought to you by the support of listeners like you. If you like what we do here at the Transformation Parlor, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Hello, my name is Oren Otter. This video is intended to use hypnosis to take you on a very special Halloween adventure. If you have any misgivings about hypnosis, I'd like to assure you that hypnosis is as safe as sleep. I can't make you do anything that you don't want to do. You'll be in charge of yourself the entire time. And if at any point you don't like what I'm doing, you're free to stop the routine right there. I'm going to be taking you into a state of very deep relaxation. So I would like you to be either sitting or lying down in a position where your head is supported. I want you to be as comfortable as possible. So if you feel a need to move, to scratch an itch, shift your weight or whatever, please feel free to do so. Now if you're ready, we'll begin. I would like you to start by focusing on your toes and making sure that each one of your toes is as relaxed as it can possibly be. Just go from the outer toe on your left foot all the way over to your big toe and then all the way over to the little toe on the other foot. Just making sure that each toe is absolutely relaxed. And as you do, you're going to notice a warm, pleasant sensation coming up from the nails of your toes, going up through your toes into your foot, making everything feel warm and pleasant. And that warm, positive energy is seeping down into the bones, down through the muscle, making everything feel relaxed, feeling so good. And it's moving up into your feet now, making all of the muscles in your feet just let go of all stress, let go of all tension, feeling so very good as that warm, pleasant, positive energy rises up into your heels and into your ankles, coming up past the joint into the legs, just making everything feel so very good as it creeps up your leg, up toward your knee, making all of the muscles in your shin let go and relax, all of the muscles in your calf, everything up to your knee, just completely relaxing, letting go of all the stress, letting go of all the tension, just feeling so very wonderful, so completely at ease, as that warm, pleasant feeling comes up past your knees, into your thighs, making all of the muscles in your upper legs relax, let go, and just feel so very good. All of the muscles completely letting go, letting go of the tension, letting go of the stress, just feeling so very good. Is that warm? pleasant feeling soaks into your thighs all the way down to the bone, coming up into your hips now, coming up into your groin, making all of the muscles in your legs relax, all the way up to your buttocks, all the way up to your groin, everything just feeling so very good. And that warm, positive sensation is seeping up into your torso now, just making everything feel so good. All the muscles in your pelvis 
completely relaxing, just feeling so very wonderful as it continues to climb up, up into your waist, up into your gut area, feeling so good as all of the muscles that it touches completely relax, just feeling so very wonderful. And you're starting to feel that same warm, positive energy in the tips of your fingers. It's like running your fingers under warm water when you just come in out of the snow. It feels so very good, so very soothing and yet stimulating at the same time. That warmth is spreading out from under the nails and the tip of each finger up into your fingers, continuing past each joint, past the knuckles, until it comes up into the palms of your hands. It just feels so very good, like dipping your hands into a warm bath all of the muscles in your hands and the muscles in each and every finger completely relaxing, just feeling so good as it continues up past your hands, up past your wrist, into your lower arms, making both of your lower arms feel so very good so completely relaxed as that warm, pleasant feeling continues to spread. It's filling your abdomen too, making all of the muscles in your lower torso feel so very good. Your lateral obliques, your lumbar region, everything up to your solar plexus just feeling so very good. Everything from your diaphragm down just feels absolutely wonderful as you feel that warm, pleasant energy suffusing all of the tissues of your body. And you can feel that warm feeling continue to rise, rising up through your arms into your biceps and triceps, making them all of the muscles feel so good and relaxed, coming up into your chest as well, filling your entire chest cavity, filling your lungs and your heart, your esophagus, your entire rib cage, just making everything feel so good. And you can feel those sensations joining up with the shoulders, making your shoulder joints feel so very good, so completely relaxed. And that warm, pleasant sensation is coming up into your neck now, making everything feel so relaxed, so completely at ease, completely at peace just feeling so very good. You're feeling so very wonderful as that pleasant energy continues to fill you, coming up into your head now, relaxing your jaw, relaxing all of the muscles in your jaw, your chin, and up around your temples, making everything Feel relaxed and at peace. All of the muscles around your mouth, around your nose, just feeling so good and relaxed as that warm, pleasant energy continues to fill you, moving up through to the top of your head, relaxing all of the muscles around your eyes making everything just feel delightful, 
as it continues upward, relaxing your eyebrows, relaxing your forehead, just making everything feel so wonderfully calm and peaceful as that warm, pleasant energy fills you all the way to the top of your head. All of the muscles in your body are feeling completely relaxed now, completely stress-free, completely at peace. The only muscles doing any work now are the muscles that you're using to breathe. So go ahead and take a deep breath and notice how good it feels to take in lungfuls of oxygen and more of that warm, pleasant energy, breathing out all of the last little bits of stress and tension. And each time you breathe in, I'd like you to go ahead and open your eyes. And as you breathe out, go ahead and let your eyes close again. Breathing in more of that warm, positive energy. Opening your eyes with just a little bit more difficulty each time. Because it feels as if weights are being added to your eyelids. They're just getting a little bit heavier each time you open your eyes. And each time you breathe out, breathing out those last bits of tension, you'll find that your eyes close a little bit more easily. Breathing in, opening the eyes a little bit less each time. Breathing out, and closing them just a little bit more easily, still feeling so very good as you just relax and listen to the sound of my voice, letting my words create your reality for you. It just feels so good to completely relax and listen to the sound of my voice, breathing in, opening your eyes a little less, Breathing out, closing them a little more easily. And if you'd like to go ahead and just let your eyes close, you can go ahead and do that. Let your eyes close, let them lock shut, because it just feels too good to completely relax. Breathing in more of that warm, positive energy breathing out the last tiny particles of tension. Everything just feels so good as you lay back and relax and listen to the sound of my voice. And if you'd like to try to open your eyes, you can try, but you'll find that your eyes are not going to open. It just feels too good to completely relax listening to my voice, letting my words craft your reality. It just feels absolutely wonderful to drift down, down like a feather, floating down into deeper levels of trance. You're doing very well now, going further and further down into that blissful state of trance. I'm going to help you to go even deeper. I'm going to count down from 10 to 1. With each number I count, you'll find yourself drifting a little further down, a little deeper into trance with each number. When I reach 1, I'll snap my fingers and say sleep. Each time I do, you'll find that it's just a little bit easier to go into that wonderful, delightful state of trance. 10, going down now. 9, a little deeper with each number. 8, still feeling so very good. 7, further and further down. 
six, deeper and deeper, five, feeling better the deeper you go, four, going deeper the better you feel, three, almost all the way there now, two, feeling absolutely wonderful, and one, sleep. You're doing very well now, going so deep into that blissful state of trance as you just listen to the sound of my voice and sleep. Feeling so very wonderful, going further and further as you drift into that state of sleep. Feeling absolutely wonderful, going deeper and deeper down, drifting into that beautiful sleep, that wonderful sleep, relaxing sleep, deep, deep sleep, so very deep sleep, deep sleep. You're doing so very well now. You've gone almost as far as you can go. And I'm going to help you to go even deeper. But to do that, I'm going to need to wake you from trance for just a moment so that we can go even deeper than before. One, starting up out of trance now. Two, coming up. Three, becoming aware of your surroundings. Four, opening up your eyes. Five, fully awake, still feeling absolutely wonderful. All of your muscles relaxed and feeling good. If you'd like to take a moment to stretch out, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and make yourself as comfortable as you can. And after we finish this little break, I'm going to count backwards again and take you even deeper into that wonderful state of trance. Beginning down now, 10, going down into trance, nine, further and further with each number I count, eight, sinking deeper and deeper, seven, drifting down like a feather, six, feeling better and better the deeper you go, five, Going deeper and deeper, the better you feel. Four, ten times deeper with each number I count. Three, feeling absolutely wonderful as you drift further and further down. Two, nearly all the way there now. One, sleep. You're doing so very well. You're such a wonderful hypnotic subject. Just going further and further into that wonderful state of sleep. Drifting in further, further down, just like a feather, as you drift to sleep. Going into that wonderful, deep, relaxing sleep. That blissful, deep, deep sleep. Just going further and further down into that sleep, almost all the way into that deep sleep, nearly as far as you can go, into that wonderful sleep, that deep sleep, deep, deep sleep, relaxing sleep, wonderful sleep, feeling so very good now. So very wonderful, every muscle in your body completely relaxed. Now, in your mind's eye, I would like you to imagine a scene. You're outdoors, and it's dark. The full moon shines bright light on everything around you. You're surrounded by trees and brush and wilderness. You don't remember how you got here, but it feels good to be here. You can feel the moonlight shining on your skin. 
it feels warm and pleasant and it's filling you with energy. It makes you feel strong and healthy. You take in a deep breath of cool, crisp October air. It feels good. But as you stand there enjoying the forest night, you become aware of someone approaching. You can hear leaves crunching underfoot, and the one crunching them is getting closer and closer. You look down the path, and see someone coming toward you. It's a very attractive young person of the opposite gender. If you're a boy, a cute girl, or if you're a girl, a handsome young boy. This person is wearing a bright red cape and hood, and on one arm there is a basket from which you can detect several delicious enticing odors. You would like to know this person better, and so you speak. Hello. The traveler seems startled, but only for a moment, and replies, Hello. Who might you be? And why are you traveling in these dark, spooky woods so late at night? And the reply is, They call me Little Red Riding Hood, but you can call me Red, and I'm on my way to my grandma's house with a basket of goodies. Intriguing, you think. This seems strangely familiar somehow. But not wanting to overthink the situation, you bid Red goodbye and go back to enjoying the feeling of the moonlight on your skin. But something odd begins to happen. The moonlight isn't just making you feel stronger. It's starting to change you. Where the moonlight is hitting your skin. You're beginning to sprout a soft gray fur. As the fur grows in, covering your body, your clothing begins to fade away. Your shoes and socks disappear, leaving you barefoot. That's closely followed by your shirt. One by one, your items of clothing disappear, until all is left is your underwear, and that too fades away to nothing, leaving you covered only in your own soft silver gray fur. Your fingernails are beginning to change. You can feel them tingling as they grow outward, becoming long and curved and pointed and hard. Your toenails are doing exactly the same, changing into canine claws. In your mouth, you can feel four of your teeth lengthening, becoming harder, longer, sharper, changing into canine fangs. Your nose is becoming cold, changing to leathery black skin. Your ears are growing upward changing from round human ears into the triangular pointed ears of a wolf. A tiny nub extends from just above your buttocks, growing outward 
slowly, steadily, becoming filled with your tailbone, growing outward longer and longer, turning into a large, bushy tail. You can feel the skin on the tips of your fingers and the palms of your hands thickening, ballooning outward into large, tough paw pads. The same thing is happening to your feet. Your fingers are becoming shorter, stubbier, changing into the paws of a wolf. Your feet are doing the same, becoming the paws of a large gray wolf. Your heels rise off the ground, your feet becoming longer, thinner, your legs changing into the digitigrade legs of a wolf. Your face is stretching, your nose and mouth going forward, forming a muzzle that becomes longer and longer. Long, slender whiskers come out of each side of your upper lip. Your eyes are also changing, becoming more accustomed to the darkness of the forest. You are a beautiful specimen of a werewolf, but the changes don't end here. Your limbs are becoming thinner, your arms and your legs becoming the limbs of a quadrupedal wolf. You fall onto all four paws and your torso begins to transform. Your human shape melts away into the shape of a canine. You are now completely wolf. And it feels absolutely wonderful. The moonlight on your fur feels even better than it did before. It feels as if the moon is pouring life energy directly into your body. You feel as though you could run forever. Then a realization comes to you. The person that you just met was Little Red Riding Hood. You know that fairy tale. And if that was Little Red Riding Hood, well then, you must be the Big Bad Wolf. This is a most alarming development. You don't want to harm anyone. But you've never been a wolf before. You don't know what these instincts will make you do. And so, wanting to leave Red in safety, you head out in the other direction and you run and run as fast as your paws will carry you. The mere act of running feels so exhilarating. Feeling the grass and the dirt on the pads of your paws. Feeling the wind blowing through your fur. Your heart is pounding, your blood racing through your veins. It just feels so good to be running. Soon you find yourself running through the forest, not caring where you go, just as long as you're running. When you finally decide to take a break, you find yourself in a clearing. On one side, there's a small stately cottage. Your keen wolf nose picks up the scent of the owner, a human woman, elderly, a little bit ill. Oh no, you think, 
This is exactly the place that you were trying to avoid. This is Red's grandmother's house. You are about to turn and leave again when something starts to niggle at the back of your mind. You can't quite place your paw on what it is, but something here isn't right. Against your better judgment, you decide to enter the cottage and investigate. Inside, you pick up another scent. It's a large male human, healthy and strong, mixed with the scent of timber. Oh no, it's the woodsman. He's already here. There's a knock at the door. It's red. This is bad. You don't want to be discovered here. For if you are discovered, the woodsman may kill you. You slip silently into the next room and discover to your dismay that you are now in the bedroom. But there's no sign of Grandma. The bed is disheveled and she's left her hat and glasses behind. You hear the squeak of the front door. Red is coming in. You don't want Red to find you here, and so you hide the only place you can think to hide, underneath Grandma's covers. Grandma, calls Red, are you here? And the next thing you know, Red's coming into the bedroom. Grandma, says Red, is that you under the covers? Oh no, you've been spotted. An idea forms in your mind. It's crazy, but it just might work. Perhaps, with the room being as dark as it is, Red's poor human senses may be fooled. And so, you quickly don the hat and the glasses and peek out from under the covers, revealing just enough of your face that she might be fooled. Grandma, she says, what big eyes you have. Nervously, you reply, the better to see you with, my dear. This charade isn't working. Grandma, says Red, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, you reply. And then it all goes south when the blanket slips out of your paws, revealing the rest of your face. Grandma, she says, what big... But then she's interrupted. There's a sound in the bathroom. What was that, says Red, moving to investigate. I'll deal with you in a moment, says the youth. Opening the bathroom door, Red gasps in horror. There before both of you is Red's grandmother, hogtied, and standing over her, a lumberjack with his axe raised. This man was about to murder the old woman, and when he heard you coming, he fell silent, hoping that you would leave and allow him to do his dirty deed. He swings his axe at Red, narrowly missing as the hooded one backs away, hands searching for anything to use as a weapon. You spring into action, quickly transforming into your gigantic half-wolf, half-human form. You fall upon the lumberjack. It's over quickly. The next thing you know, the axe murderer is laying slain at your feet, while Red unties Grandma. You're not the big bad wolf after all. You're the big awesome wolf, and you're the hero. Grateful for the rescue, Grandma praises you and strokes your fur, while Red gives you a great big kiss right on the muzzle. As you turn to take your leave of your new friends and return to the forest, Grandma stops you. She goes to the closet and takes out a bundle. It's cold out there, she says. Please take this. It'll keep you warm. And as you open the bundle, you discover that it's an extra-large red riding hood. 
thanking her, you put it on. You leave through the front door and you run, running through the forest, once again feeling the grass and earth beneath your paws and the wind in your fur. You run and you run and you aren't aware of ever stopping but the next thing you know you're waking up in your own home. You're in your own normal human body and you're lying in your own bed. It was all a dream or was it? For lying neatly folded at the foot of your bed is your own red riding hood. This has been a wonderful adventure, hasn't it? Now the story is over, and it's time to return to wakefulness. So, I'm going to count to five and bring you back into full wakefulness. When you wake up, you'll remember it everything that happened in exquisite detail. You'll remember transforming into a wolf. You'll remember Red Riding Hood and Grandma and the battle with the Axeman. You'll remember the excitement, the action, and the thrill of being the hero of the night. And these feelings will delight you throughout the days to come because you've been able to experience something very few people will ever be able to experience. You were the big awesome wolf. And now it's time to return to wakefulness. One, beginning to rise up out of trance now, Two, a little bit higher with each number I count. Three, becoming aware of your surroundings. Four, opening up your eyes. Five, fully awake, still feeling very good, feeling absolutely wonderful, and still feeling the thrill of your awesome adventure. Thank you for joining me for this adventure today. It's been a pleasure taking you through it. If you've enjoyed it, I hope you'll consider supporting us. You can find us on Patreon. You can also find us on Facebook, on YouTube, and at ottercomics.us. Good day, and Happy Halloween!